Today we're going to go ahead and start making a patio uh, table. I want a table that I can put out on the deck out in front of my house that can support at least an 8 foot umbrella, maybe a 10 foot, I don't know yet. I've got an 8 footer so we're going to start with that one. Uh, I got some plywood, I got a pipe, I got concrete for them. Over there behind the camera I got a great big stack of uh, lumbi material we're going to use to make this look like something other than plywood, a concrete form, and a pipe. So the first thing we need to do, we've got this concrete form. It's oval. We need to make it round. We're going to, do, we're going to take this plywood, cut it into uh, some squares, take a compass, draw a 12-inch diameter circle. We'll cut the circle out circle we're going to stick in here, that'll bring it back into shape. We'll take this hole saw, cut a hole in the center of it, and that's what the pipe will go through on the bottom of it. That way the pipe doesn't get filled up with concrete. We'll take this form, we're going to come down approximately 14 inches, we're going to cut this form off. We'll stick the pipe down in there into the first board. And we're going to take the second board. We're going to drill a hole in that, cut a 12 inch circle. That'll go in the top of it. That will support our, uh, our pipe and keep it centered in the form. That way, uh, when it's full of concrete, the concrete sets up overnight, the pipe doesn't tip over. We also have to take this pipe, which is uh, part of my chain link fence. I didn't need a fence around the backyard. I needed a pipe, so I just went out there and I just yanked it out of the ground. Hopefully nobody notices. Pipe might be bad. We need to cut this off 38 inches. It's going to be the overall height of our patio table. And I've got uh, kind of like bar stool style uh, seats out in front of the, the house on the deck. 38 inches is the same height as the rail around my house, so it'll be a perfect height for the table. Let's go ahead and cut these, we'll make the circles, we'll prep our form, cut the pipe, then I'll go out and uh, fill this with concrete.
going to be the main structure, the base. This is what's going to provide the weight. I'm going to go out and fill this with concrete. And then I'm going to build this up with wood and make it look like, I don't know, something. Not really working off of plans. I don't work off of plans. I hate, I hate blueprints. Uh, using blueprints, to me, you might as well just go to freaking work. It just takes all the, the fun and, and joy out of doing something like this. I like getting an idea in my head and then just working off of whatever crazy going on up here. You know, if I can knock back the voices, I can get to the idea that I got. I waste a lot of lumber because my ideas don't always pan out. Uh, but if you make a mistake off of an idea up here, that's just a creative design change. If you make a mistake off of a blueprint, it means you're an idiot and you can't follow blueprints. So I'm going to go out, I'm going to fill this with concrete. I won't bother showing you that because it's just about a bag and a half of concrete we're going to dump in a wheelbarrow mixed with water and dump it in here. We'll let this sit up over overnight and then we can uh, start forming wood around it. Alright, so the base is outside. Uh, got the concrete in it. It's got to set up for a while. I get this whole freaking pile of lumber here. I got to I gotta cut it into pieces. I'm going to start. I got one by 12 right here. I'm going to cut them into two foot pieces. After the 1x12s, I got 1x10s. After the 1x10s, I got 1x8s. I wanted more 1x12s, but uh, during this particular time that we're going through, apparently uh, apparently people are hoarding fucking lumber. Can't get them. There was only four of them at the goddamn big box store that I went to. So, we're going to cut a whole bunch of pieces into sections and then we'll start stacking. We're not gonna worry about uh, running through a planer. We don't care if they're square. Uh, we don't care about edge joining. We're gonna glue things together. If we got gaps, it doesn't matter. We'll fix it later. All right. You'll see when we get to it. Uh, I'm not even sure if I know how it's gonna work. It'll work. It's up here. It'll work. Don't worry. My, my freaking beer-soaked brain knows it'll work. So, I already got a stop block set up over here so I can just go and cut a whole crap load of these things really freaking fast.
All right, nice and smooth. Now let's stand it up. All right, and there's our base. Uh, pipes can hold the uh, umbrella, obviously. Uh, we'll have to come back through and we're going to paint this uh, concrete cylinder with some uh, dry lock paint, keep moisture from getting in there and eventually cracking it. But when we're done with this, you won't see this base at all. It's going to be completely covered in wood. The nice thing is I'm designing this uh, to where the wood going across it will be completely removable so we can take it off during bad weather, put it in storage during the winter so it'll last a long time. So now we got to just uh, continue making our stacks of lumber. I got a whole bunch already made up, glued up. Now we got to see if we've got enough. I'm going to need bigger pieces because the, the design is going to come in and it's going to come back up. I still have uh, five more pieces of this large bottom down here left over. I think I'm going to make a couple more of them. Uh, I still got a stack of uh, eight foot long one by eights over there. So I think I get blew up some more of them. If I need to, I have to cut the centers out of these large pieces to go over top of this. I can probably use those center pieces to do some filler. So I think we're getting pretty close. Let's throw these last pieces on, see how tall it is. piece off of our mold. We're going to use that as a pattern to be able to cut holes in all these individual pieces of one by material that I've been stacking up. We're going to have to cut this a little bit larger so it'll slide nice and easily down over top of our concrete cylinder. And then we'll just keep cutting holes and stacking it and stacking it and stacking it. And that's what we're going to use as our exterior of the base. Now we're going to have to cut this well on the outside of this pattern to make sure it will fit on there. Something else we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to remove some of this excess wood because we're going to power carve this thing. So we're just kind of you don't want it to be the same design some sort of uh, similarity between each one of the boards going up and we'll just kind of shrink the size and that will give us a narrow, we're going to make kind of a, a tree trunk design going up.
finally got this huge stack of wood. It's all rough, rough cut into basic shape that I'm going to want it to be. Uh, but now this whole stack of wood, we've got to be able to glue it all together. To do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and number each one of these boards. That way I know exactly where they go back on. I've already put a reference line down this side and down this side. So when I restack them, they will all go back in exactly how I want them, just like this. What we'll do is we'll disassemble this whole thing. We'll take the concrete base that's submerged in here in this, in this pedestal of wood, put it down onto the floor, and then we can start reassembling. And we'll do probably six boards at a time, cover them in glue, and we'll uh, start restacking, clamp them together six at a time. Once they're dry, put six more on there, clamp them together. We're going to use uh, probably four two by fours running across and we'll use those as a clamping force so we can clamp so the middle will start getting a uh, uh, clamp. Otherwise you'll just be clamping on the outside and it'll just get a bow to it. So we're going to try and use two by fours to be able to pull this center together. Got to get this whole stack glued together. Once it's glued together then we can start power carving and take this weird obelisk looking freaking thing and turn it into hopefully to look like an old tree. If it doesn't turn into an old tree, then it's just uh, about uh, $150 worth of uh, wasted lumber. So let's number this thing and start the, uh, the disassembly process. So the actual, the base of the uh, patio table slash umbrella stand is done. 120 pounds of concrete with uh, the corner post out of my backyard chain link fence. That's going to hold the umbrella. This is going to be the decorative exterior right now. Uh, to be honest, when I lifted this down off the bench, I probably don't need this concrete because holy crap, this probably weighs 250 pounds. There's so much lumber in here. But what's going to happen to this, we're going to go ahead and power carve this. We're going to try and turn it into uh, something that looks, looks like a tree. I don't know. 
it might end up looking stupid as hell and it'll just get thrown on a burn pit. Uh, I hope it don't. I hope it turns out looking really cool. I hope the, the, the weird rolling around in my head actually comes out to turn out something pretty cool. But once we get it all carved and I'm going to put a coating on there, probably Bondo or something, and then I'm going to make a tabletop for it. The tabletop is just going to be a nice big round uh, top that I'm going to uh, stain and then put uh, an epoxy resin uh, UV protectant coating over top of it. And it was supposed to be meant to be this can lift off of here, but with as heavy as it is and all the glue squeeze that's in here, it's a son of a bitch to get it in, on and off the pipe. So once it gets put onto the, the concrete base, that'll probably be its permanent home until it just rots away. I think, I think that'll be enough for this video. We'll go ahead and edit this one down, otherwise it's going to wind up being a two, three hour long video. The next one, we'll get back, we'll do the power carving, we'll make the tabletop for it and do the finished assembly, get it put out on the deck. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, even if you didn't like it, thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. Go ahead and just hit them. I'll see you next time.